Hello and welcome to GCK Daily. You know, dissatisfaction in oneself is one of the leaders in most mental health concerns. That typically includes the history of abuse, being bullied, it can include the experience of not measuring up to the expectations of others. Such a combination can lead to depression. And this ideology is based on comparing and trying to measure one's worth. How a person views himself or herself needs to change. And changing the focus from oneself and others to one's relationship with God will definitely help. So what resources can you recommend to help me? That's a good question, Nate. You know, I just know the one thing that I've been listening to in Dr. Kumi's message just the other day, and I think it's a short clip that will definitely help, and we can discuss it next time we meet. Okay. I'm ready to open myself up to learn and to grow, and to change my mindset about the present and the future. God help us as we do so. As I look at, you know, the field or the sea of Exia tonight, I know that like rain falls from heaven, healing is going to fall from heaven. Deliverance is going to come from heaven. Salvation is going to come from heaven. You know, when the rain is falling, your house is there and then other houses all around and the Lord just sends the rain everywhere and he will not say because you know you are bad because you are this and that he will say rain don't go that direction only fall here so that then you have rain at your back rain in front and rain on the left and rain on the on the right hand side and then your own house alone is the one that will not have rain from heaven God doesn't do that he doesn't do that he wants to bless everyone here tonight and I see the rain falling over there I see the rain falling over there healing and we don't have to you know shout and you know roll on the ground the rain will just come upon you tonight are you expecting it will come say it will come and so we know from Psalm 51, Psalm 51, we're looking at verse 12. In Psalm 51, reading from verse 12, it says, Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation. Salvation comes with joy. When you know your sins are forgiven, the yoke is broken, the chain is shattered, and everything that pinned you down before, and the things you could not do, now the grace of God comes to your life, and he says, your sins are forgiven, and you are set free. Now you have a free mind. You have the joy of salvation. That joy of salvation is coming to you today. And then it says, uphold me with thy free spirit. You see, in the psalmist new, there is forgiveness forgiveness on the one hand that's good there's freedom on the other hand he gives you forgiveness and he gives you freedom he sets you free look at verse 13 verse 13 says then when I teach and guess us that way you'll be so happy you want to tell other people you'll be so happy and joyful that all the same partners of the past and members of the same gang you go and tell them you cannot tell what has happened to me I'm free the condemnation is gone and all the pain of uh, of the guilt everything is gone you'll tell other people and great will be the salvation that will go from you from christ to you to them in jesus name it says and then he said and sinners shall be converted unto you conversion conversion that sinners they will have change they have transformation their lives will become new and sinners shall be converted unto thee. That's the conversion you are going to have tonight. A change of life for you tonight. You say, once I was in darkness, but now I've come to the light. Once I was guilty and I was in the dungeon of condemnation, but now total freedom has come to you in Jesus' name. And look at Psalm 103. Psalm 103, I'm looking at verse 1. In Psalm 103, verse 1, he says, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me bless his holy name have you noticed that all that is within me 
Why? Because all that is within me, my spirit, you cannot see, will receive a touch from the Lord. My soul, you cannot see all that is within me, you will receive transformation from the Lord. My bones and joints, you cannot see, they receive the health and the healing of the Lord. And then your lungs and your liver and your throat, everywhere inside, even the nerves on your eyes, divine healing will come tonight. And your ears, all the membranes and everything you cannot see there, healing will come to everything inside you. The arthritis inside there, as you are standing like this, nobody knows that anything is wrong, but when you try to move or try to bend or try to sit, then the whole thing is, uh, you know, crack, 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 and all that, and you're feeling pain. Nobody can see, but now every part of your body tonight will receive the healing of the Lord. We receive the goodness of the Lord and when that happens you see everything within me all that is within me blessed is holy name now he explains in verse in verse 2 look at verse 2 bless the Lord of my soul and forget not all his benefits plural blessing tonight plural benefit for you tonight look at verse 3 verse 3 says who forgiveth who forgiveth how many iniquities all thy iniquities and who healeth all thy diseases amen yeah. my heart comes to you there healing comes to you there and when we pray i'll be presenting your sickness your case before the lord even if i just said he is sick or he has disease i don't need to mention the exact thing as we do that the lord as he pours the rain of healing deliverance down he'll touch you there tonight look at verse 4 in verse 4 it says who uh, redeemest thy life from destruction you will not die before your time <laughs> you know sometimes you do something there then you run from there and you run to this other side and the people who say ah ah how can a man like this, a woman be as wicked like this? He did that to me, and they're searching for you, searching for you. They said, when we find him, we finish him. When you come to Christ tonight, they cannot finish you. Your life will go on. Because he redeems your life from destruction. Who crowned thee with loving kindness and tender mercy. In verse 5, he says, who? satisfies thy mouth with good things if you've been living from hand to mouth in a miraculous way the lord will provide for you and then it says thy youth is renewed like the eagles thy youth renewed like the eagles that means something good that will come it will renew your life tonight hello friends this is Paul Balash, and you're watching GCK Daily with Dr. Kumuyi. So here are a couple things that we've learned so far. When you accept Christ, you become a righteous person. That's very true. Secondly, God changes our character, our mindset, and our focuses on the things of God. And number three, things change rapidly as we renew our minds through being transformed by Christ and through the Christian community. And so friend, as we conclude today, we'd love to get to know you on a personal level. So please contact us at dclm.org forward slash connect or through our Facebook and YouTube pages. And if you liked what you've heard today, please share this video, like, subscribe, make sure you're also touching the lives of others around. God bless you. Keep on standing. We're praying now. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you for your love and we thank you for your invitation. And you do not give a partial invitation to some and not to others. There is room at the cross for everyone. And I pray, Lord, your forgiveness will come to everyone now in Jesus' name. I pray that all the condemnation and all the guilt and all the confusion and all the powerlessness in their sin, I pray you take everything away in Jesus' name. Set them free. 
break that yoke of sin break the shackles of sin and the things that held them captive lord destroy every sin of the devil from their lives from their soul and spirit in jesus name confirm the salvation the joy of salvation the forgiveness in salvation the freedom in salvation confirm it in every life now thank you lord because i know you have done it in jesus name we pray father in the mighty name of jesus we pray lord you demonstrate manifest your power right now in jesus name we pray lord whatever the problem is internal external in the bone in the joint in the tummy in their lungs anywhere touch them miraculously now heal them in jesus name i pray lord that every pain will vanish away infirmity vanish away the weakness of the body vanish away i pray whatever is the name of the problem of the sickness of the disease lord demonstrate your wonders upon them now heal them deliver them in jesus name evil power of demons of evil spirit to mention any life i command that evil spirit and that demon come out in jesus name and all those so-called incurable diseases they've taken here and there and they have not been healed manifest your power heal them now in jesus name eye problem be healed in jesus name ear problem be healed in jesus name impediment in your speech be healed in jesus name the pain of cancer i pray lord touch them heal them now in jesus name also i pray the pain and the symptoms of ulcer will vanish away in jesus name tuberculosis be healed now in jesus name hiv aids be healed in jesus name sickle cell problem and pain the lord touch you right now be healed in jesus name i pray that occultic problems uh, with the power of the occult tormenting your life all that part be broken away from your life now you're delivered you're set free lord confirm in their lives in jesus name madness and uh, insanity i pray the lord will touch that brain and touch that mind right now be healed and delivered in jesus name and i pray that that sensation of wanting to commit suicide wanting to die i pray lord that you remove the confusion in their lives and give them the joy and the excitement to want to live in jesus name you stepped on poison and the poison is taking effect i pray that lord you neutralize the poison now heal them deliver them and set them free in jesus name every kind of problem internal external leprosy whatever lord i pray from the left to the right to the middle to the center and to the back everywhere online over the radio over the television miracle wonders healing deliverance manifested upon every life right now lord let there be confirmation demonstration in every life right now in jesus name we pray if you've been walking the same old road for miles and miles if you've been hearing the same Voice tell the same old lies. If you're trying to feel the same old holes inside, there's a better life. There's a better life. If you got pain, he's a pain taker. If you feel lost, he's a way maker. If you need free. I'm a savior. He's a prison shaking savior. He's got chains. He's a chain.
rainmaker, oh yeah. Thank you for joining us for another episode of GCK Daily, Global Crusade with Queen. We are sure that this episode has been a great reminder of God's readiness to intervene in the matters of your soul and life. So please check us out at gckhq.org and connect with us via our social media handles. Please also like and subscribe and share these videos. We look forward to seeing you at the next episode of GCK Daily. We would love for you to join us at our next Global Crusade. Thank you.